Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, November 2022 prediction reading for Gemini. Uh, this could be in anything. Um, you could apply this to any replacements. So uh, we're just going to see what the cards have to say, okay? Um, so we're going to take a look at what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the month of uh, November. We'll finish off the read to see what, what you guys need to look out for, work on, what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, Gemini, what do you have for Gemini here? Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. What's surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect for um, November 2022. Tell me about Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Wands, the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're being pulled in two different directions here, Gemini. I feel strongly that some of you guys want to take a risk or gain the courage to sort of like not follow social norms or something like that, not follow what's expected of you. But then there's a part of you that you where you kind of be where you kind of want to be rooted and settle down. So, you know, I feel like this is a matter of sort of like creating the life that you want for yourself. Do you want to be tethered down? Do you want to be rooted somewhere? You know, do you want it to be tied to things or tied to people here? Or do you just want to be a free bird? Yeah, and just roam around and gallivant around the world um, or places or whatever, wherever. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. There's a, there's a sense of yearning. Yeah, yearning for, uh, yearning to be rooted somewhere, okay? Um, Perhaps, you know, some of you guys might be interested in looking for new love here too. But it seems like, you know, Gemini, you could be in this energy of feeling a bit scattered here. Okay. It's like, okay, you want to be rooted somewhere, but then, you know, it's sort of like, you know, the thought of being uh, tied down somewhere or tethered to somebody or something uh, makes you really uncomfortable. Uh, the Six of Wands. And then we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Lots of, pay lots of uh, court cards here, by the way. You know, with the Six of Wands, this could be an indication that you guys are in the public eye or something like that. I'm feeling like some of you guys could be influencers, okay? Uh, with the Page of Cups here, you know, I just feel like you're looking to pursue something new here, something creative, something artsy here. You know, this could be an indication that, you know, um, you know, for November, you're in this more of a connected, uh, sensitive period, okay? more in tune with your emotions here and your sensitivity. Uh, perhaps you're connecting with people on a deeper level here. It could be a situation that you're sharing a lot of stories about yourself here or sharing a lot of stories about your adventures, okay? Tell me about the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So any of the energies that are read out, you might have those energies in your chart, okay? Um, also, you could be dealing with any of those energies currently, past, present, um, strength. We have the Nine of Cups. Wow. I just feel like right now you're trying to figure out what makes you happy. I feel like you're, you're you know, it's not showing here, but I feel like you're at a, cross, a crossroads. Like I, like, I feel like you're being pulled in two different directions here. Like I said, I feel like there's a yearning to not be tethered to something or somebody or anything. And then, you know, there's another part of you where, you know, you know, you sort of done all you can when it comes to adventures and going out there to explore. But 
at the same time i feel like there's an energy of wanting to be rooted somewhere yeah uh the uh, knight of pentacles you know the ace of cups knight of cups and the six of pentacles here uh, maybe this energy of being wanting to be rooted somewhere is that maybe you found new love yeah and i feel like you want to try uh, just give this a try and see what happens but you know that ace of cups could be indication that you're just trying to figure out what makes you happy you know you're just trying to create the life that you want you know i just feel like also you don't you just want to you know you know create the life that you want but that, that not not what uh society expects from you you know sort of like doing the norm sort of thing six of wands here and the six of swords page of cups page of cups and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo i think you know where i, I think you know where you belong uh gemini i feel like you're meant to move around and not stay in one place for a long time yeah even though you're looking for that i feel like wherever you go it's going to be your home it, it, you know you know you're going to make it your home yeah because i feel like someone here is like a bit of a nomad king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo what else do we have here for gemini what else do we have here for gemini what else do we have here for gemini for uh, November 2022, what does Gemini need to look out for and work on here? What, what other messages do we have here for Gemini? We have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords. You know, one of the interesting things that I'm picking up here, Gemini, is that, okay, yeah, you're interested in a relationship. You're interested in looking for love here. Um, but at the same time, I'm feeling like you're learning that, you know, you're learning that you're okay on your own. Yeah, it's like you don't really need anybody. This is so interesting because I feel like, let's say if you do fully commit to this new person that's coming into your life, um, you know, I feel like it's going to start to make you uncomfortable. And I feel like you might just kind of like, you know, run off and just be on your own or something like that. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. This is someone that you might be meeting on social media or something like that. Yeah, someone here might DM you, okay? Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Or maybe this is off a dating website. The Five of Pentacles here. The Four of Cups. The uh, Three of Cups. And the Emperor here, Aries Energy. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you know, I just feel like when it comes to love, I feel like you don't have energy to give to that. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like you're just focusing on surrounding, your, uh, surrounding yourself with people that's kind of like going on the same journey as you maybe sharing those stories together with these people here okay but um you know i feel like i feel like what you do here it does bring you to like a much higher state of consciousness because it's all at the same time it's all like almost meditative yeah and healing here too uh gemini okay so like i said i feel like there's an the energy of being pulled in two different directions but I feel like you already know where you want to be and wherever you, whatever you do, wherever you go, you're going to make that your home. Yeah, you're going to make that your home. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Swords, Page of Swords here, and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you're dealing with a bit of stress and anxiety for the month of November here. Why? Nine of Swords, the Chariot might be i don't know so i feel like money is not an issue here for you but it could be that the traveling might be putting a strain or that you feel like it might be putting a strain on your money uh problems here but i don't see that becoming an issue so it's just more that more so that you could be in your head about this um tell me about the five of pentacles here the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo Seems like you might have met a soulmate here. The problem is this person comes from a place of lack. It could be a situation that this person's not on, on the same vibration as you. It's all about vibration, yeah, for you when you meet people. And I feel like if people don't vibe with you, just in general, not in love, you just sort of like move away from it. And we have the sun, Leo energy. Three of cups, we have the full Aries energy and the emperor and the ace of pentacles here. 
you know, I feel like there's an opportunity for prosperity here for you. Wherever you go, I feel like you're able to manifest and make anything happen here. But like I said, you know, I feel like you could be going, like you could be in the midst of a transformation here, going through some sort of changes. But uh, yeah, it just seems like you're being pulled into two different directions. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like you already know where you want to be. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.